Should you wait for the doctor or head to the ER? That's what I'm helping you decide today. And our next question comes to us from someone you may recognize from ABC's Dancing with the Stars. My name is Anna Tribunske. You might have seen me on Dancing with the Stars. I'm a professional ballroom dancer. I've been very fortunate in my dance career to kind of stay injury free. But about five months ago on Dancing with the Stars, I sprained my ankle. I was running on stage, it was dark, and I did not see a step. And I stepped and I put all of my weight and it got all twisted under me. It just was like an immediate sensation of something being pulled apart. I did not go to the doctor, so I thought, oh, it'll be fine, I'll just walk it off. I danced on it literally within the next two hours. About two weeks ago, I sprained my ankle again. I can do moves, but anything that puts my ankle in like this twisted position still feels um, not safe to do it. I need my ankle 100% because Dancing with the Stars starts very soon. I would like to know when an injury is okay to freak out and go to the doctor or when it's no big deal and I should just get over myself. Please welcome Anna Trebinskaya to the show. Hi. How are you? You're getting along pretty well. Thank you. So are you officially still a patient with your ankle sprain or not? I am a patient, All right, yes. well then this is the patient chair. This is the, awesome. the throne. Ooh. So is your left ankle? Left one. Looks yeah. pretty good. Mm. When this happened, at first you're wondering, did I fracture it? Is there yeah. something more serious? Or did I just sprain it? Yeah. Which ironically, and this is important, a lot of people don't realize this, sometimes it takes longer for a sprain to heal than a fracture. And you want to know why? Why? Well. These ligaments, so think of your bone as the scaffolding and the ligaments, so these are the bones, and then these little fibrous tissues, those are the ligaments. It's kind of the mm. glue that holds your scaffolding Looks together. like a chicken leg. And <laughs> you see those little fibrous bands? Yeah. So those are your ligaments. Uh -huh. And when you, when you either tear or slightly rip or, or evert or invert your ankle, uh -huh. these get pulled apart. And I'm oh. gonna show you the very various degrees of these. The reason it can take so long for a sprain to heal is that your ligaments don't really have a good blood supply. Yeah. So once you strain this, and this is a grade one sprain, so you see how the ankle... That's my sprain right there. Yeah, but a grade two sprain, you can see a little bit the, the rip is not complete. Now, a grade three is complete rupture of that ligament, which means you're gonna have a very unstable foot, which I don't think that's what you had, but this is a very serious problem. And if you think about it, yep. if this happens to you, and you've completely essentially ruptured your ligaments, right. you know, this ankle is going to be completely unstable and your ability to dance and do what you normally do, completely compromised. Is that what it looked like? Not as bad. But do you know how, when I look at this, how I can tell if it's broken or just a sprain? How do, how can, that, that's a good question. How do you know? Because it hurts, so you don't know. You know what, looking at this, I don't know either. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna okay. show you a skill that I have hopefully developed over the years. All right. So again, I said bones are the scaffolding. So one of the right. biggest things, if you injure your ankle, mm. depending upon the mechanism, and it's one of those mechanisms where, you know what, I'm not sure if I sprained it or broke it, one of the big things is if you can't bear weight, because oh. potentially something's happened to that scaffolding. Now, a bad sprain, it's hard to bear weight as well. Mm -hmm. And then another thing I'll do, when you come into the ER, and I'm gonna have you hold that model for me. Okay. This bone right here is called your lateral malleolus. This is your medial malleolus, the bottom of your fibula and tibia. So if you came into the ER, you know, I'd get down here, and I'd say, okay, Anna, does it? Anytime. <laughs> I, and I, I would press over here and say, does that hurt? And if you have a lot of pain here and you can't bear weight and you have pain through this area, yeah. I'm very likely going to get an x-ray to see if there's a fracture. Right. Now, similarly with the foot, you know, this is called your fifth metatarsal. And the uh -huh. base of it here, if you have mm -hmm. a lot of pain there and can't ba bear weight, your navicular bone is right in here. I'm gonna press in these areas and if you have explicit pain and tenderness, and I, I notice a lot of swelling there and you can't bear weight, that's gonna lead me to get x-rays to be able to tell, is it a sprain or a fracture? Because right. you can't see ligaments, but the way to rehab a sprained ankle is you have to essentially make that ankle joint strong once again. 